Good evening, and welcome to News Watch at 5:30. Training your dog can be a tricky process, one that definitely requires time, patience, and consistency. Elite Dog Training in Bethany says its method is focused on making it easier for dog owners to communicate with their four-legged pals quickly and efficiently. Tonight, Michelle, Fl Michelle Ferrari finds out if the elite techniques will work on her own dog, Gertie, who is shall we say, rather set in her ways. Also, so, Karen Laws, dog trainer and owner of Ontario Elite Dog Training, says the top four reasons dog owners seek out her help is, one, leash pulling, two, door charging, three, they don't come when called, and four, yappy. Gertie is pretty well all of the above. Well, this is it. Karen, this is Gertie. Mm -hmm. This is my five-year-old miniature double dappled piebald dachshund, if that's even whatever. And apparently, I'm starting off very poorly, and I know that. I, I was walking her last night in anticipation of this interview today. Okay. And I have a four-and-a-half-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son and a stroller and a dog who pulls like crazy when I'm walking. Mm -hmm. And that shouldn't be the case. That's true. Okay, so what am I doing wrong? Well, <laughs> let's start with what you're doing right now. Okay. What you're doing right now is you're following your dog. And that's not right. Well, when you're following your dog, that means your dog is leading you. Okay. So whenever you see a situation in the street like this, it's very common with this type of a leash. The dog is in the lead. It means that the person doesn't exist in the dog's eyes. The only thing that the person is doing is creating a negative energy flow down this type of a rope if the dog sees something it wants that the, that the owner doesn't want it to have. So I need to change the leash. That would be a start. Okay. So but there's a process that I like to walk people through to teach both the dog and the owner um, what I call pack dynamics or teaching the teaching the dog to follow the leader and turning the owner into a a, a um, I guess a, a calm assertive leader okay so what do we do okay well let's uh, let's get her over here first we'll, we're gonna change her collar and the whole leash and it, it, and this is almost contrary to what you would expect but we're gonna put her on what I call a, a long line so should anyone have this type of leash the, the, the purpose of that type of a leash would be uh, for something at night in the dark. If you're stepping out on your back step and you have a yard that's not safe, you want the dog to just kind of go to the end of it, do its business, and come back in. Oh. That's about it because uh, there's, there's, they're awkward to train. I, they're, they're just, just going to wrap they around Yeah, you. and they, there's no control here. Okay. They have absolutely no control. You can't work that little trigger mechanism or whatever it is okay. fast enough for the, for, to get any response. Okay. There, and they're awkward. So bring her towards me. Come here, Oh, she's going to just rub in some grub. Yeah, there. there's probably some dead mouse or something Yeah, it's there. awesome. That's her favorite thing to do. Yeah. Okay, come here. So now I'm going to change the collar. Okay. The first thing I use, this is, her, this is a little big, this collar for her. And this is, this is called a choke collar. Okay. But you can see it doesn't, it, it, when it, the way it's put on here, she'll be walking on predominantly on my left side. Okay. And when I pull that, it releases right away as soon as she complies. So she has an opportunity here to make the right decision to keep that at a comfortable level. Oh. We like it right tight to her ears. These ones are, this would be just like wearing um, yourself, wearing a neckband around your neck and having somebody drag you around by it. It really doesn't, doesn't do anything. Oh. It's just kind of, it's just annoying. Okay. So you can put it there. And this won't come off. And then we're just going to, and I'll, I will, I will walk with her so you understand what I'm going okay. to do. And um, what, I'm to, what I'm doing here is, is I'm just going to teach her how to make the right decision. Okay. I'm not going to speak to her. I'm not going to call her. Rule, that's, you say the biggest mistake dog owners do is? They talk to their dogs too much. And I'm not saying anything to her. I just walk. I keep an eye on her. Here she comes. What a good dog. Those words don't come out of my mouth often at home. <laughs> she's uh, not playing the game here. She's supposed to run ahead of me, and she's not doing that. So we'll just slow down and let her run ahead. Why isn't she? Well, she's curious. I'm going to turn around and come right back into you now. So watch this. See, I'm just changing direction. Yeah. And she's got to follow me. Oh, the collar just about came right off of her. you got a skinny little neck, Gert. Yeah, her neck's a little small for this, but she under she's already understanding it. I'm Is she staying with me? Yeah, so you can come up beside me. Is that what she's doing? Probably. She kind of keeps looking at me. Yeah. She's got, see, she has no relationship with me right, right now. Right. So that's why. The dogs that you see out in the field there, most of them have a relationship with me. And she's on my right side. We're not asking her to be on any side. What we're asking her to do is not be in front. That's all we're asking her. Now, I'm going to turn around here right now and go the other way. Okay. Just like this. And still to come tonight, Gertie's got the right stuff. Honestly. Calvin is into my dog. Yeah. But he won't touch her. If he does, she may bark at him. Imagine if they something. tried to have a baby.
Once you establish how to train your dog, Dog Trainer Karen Laws says consistency and follow through are the final ingredients to seal the deal of a well trained dog. She says dogs need a leader and a pecking order. They follow a hierarchy and respond best when they know their place. Time now for Gertie to socialize with some bigger dogs off the leash. Doing here is the dogs come here once a week for um, just to, to interact, social interaction, and the, there's some rules. And the rules are that the people aren't allowed to talk to the dogs or touch them or engage with them in any way, and they must keep moving. See, I'm really nervous for Gertie right now because Why? she's so small. Yeah, but they won't bother. They'll, they're going to keep moving. They're going to walk right on by, and their dogs are going to follow. Now, the, the challenge here is we're stopped, so they so gather. So should we start walking? If we can start walking, they'll start walking. Because I'm really nervous when Gertie goes yeah, out. Let her to her. Let's go. Yeah, I just call. Let's go. Yeah. And he starts walking. And but they're not supposed to call. You're just supposed no. to walk. That's right. Everybody. Okay. Just, everybody just keeps walking, and see everybody starts moving. Gertie's just sniffing a pole. Yeah. No, no one will bother her. Dogs are space dependent and they have all the space they need in here. So they feel okay. They feel fine. They feel safe. When someone gets cornered. Oh, she came. Uh, someone gets cornered. She'll Look at come. See? You just keep walking. Calvin's going to pester her. There's some rules and I, that's why I carry this little. So do you not book. honestly ever have dogs that fight in here? No. Honestly. Calvin is into my dog. Yeah. But he won't touch her. If he does, she may bark at him. Imagine if, if they tried to have a baby. Yeah. If he does something that's socially inappropriate, he gets corrected. I just touch him with this little, move it, and tell him to move. I'm the only one out of the group that's allowed to talk to the dogs. That way, there's no territoriality. All of these dogs here have leaders. They all recognize their owners as leaders, including Gertie. That's why she's with you. Right. And so if one, if one strange dog came up to someone and that person was to reach down and pet it, that would cause an altercation or a territorial reaction from the owner's dog, so that would be a fight. That's so what's the difference between this and a dog park? Well, this in a dog park, there's no rules, and the people are not required to keep moving. Most dog parks, people go to a dog park, they stand there, and they stand around and smoke cigarettes and drink coffee and talk to their friends and expect that the dogs are supposed to know what to do. Okay, and but generally the dogs fight. Then they look for something to do to entertain. These dogs are learning how to communicate with each other and recognizing the proximity of their leaders, but that's all they're doing. Okay. They're, they're communicating themselves. The people are just part of the pack. They're moving as a pack. They've all set their own, their own rules. They know who's in charge. Out of everybody here, this one's the only one that's not neutered, but there's no problems. Oh. And so what females in season aren't, aren't allowed, I mean, there's, there's common sense rules, but you see how Gertie's just hanging out. Yeah, Generally, they just hang out. She could, That's, you know, people call me and they say, "Well, my dog will take off and he'll never come back." Okay, well, and there's okay. So uh, we have land. We go to the land. Mm -hmm. There's cows on the land. Sure. Gertie bolts. Yeah. She runs up and she's going to fight a cow. Well, what do you think I do? My heart palpitates start, yeah. because I think she's going to get stomped. You tell her it's dangerous, so she t she thinks it's dangerous because of the situation that you're in. But she keeps running she, after the cow. So, so she, what should I do? I wouldn't go into the field with the cows until you train her to come when she's called. <laughs> she find, she does come, but it yeah. takes five calls. Yeah. And so that's not right. It should no. be one call, right? Well, it should be one call. Hmm. Now, Karen says if you stick with a good training program, you should see results within 30 days.